My name is Fabian Devora and I'm from, I'm a resident of Bow Heights, East LA, of course, to represent that. And I'm proud to be part of this White House project. I was born in El Paso, Texas, but I was brought here to Los Angeles when I was five years old. And we lived in the housing projects of Boyle Heights. You know, I love to draw. I discovered art at a very young age. I remember my circumstances weren't very well. I mean, I wasn't as fortunate as other children could be. So for me, it was amazing that I was able to discover the gift of art. And so art to me is more than just a technique. To me, art is a gift, and it has been. And it has given me my self-worth, my meaning, and my hope, something to look forward to. Uh, something that embraced me at my lowest point was art. Because when my father and mother would argue, or there would be domestic violence, I would go and hide under a coffee table with my notebook. And I would uh, create my own worlds to escape my reality. And that's when I found art to give me meaning, hope, self-worth, and I held on to that gift since the age of six. At a young age growing up in the 80s, you know, there was not many art schools. Coming from a single mom, dealing with a heroin addict as a father, my mom could not put me in high-end schools or put me in any art school. So because of that, I had to create my own school. So LA River became my playground. And that's where I started to continue to perfect my skills in the form of graffiti art. So I became a tagger, graffiti artist. And eventually I lost that because uh, there was gangs where I come from. So growing up in the environment of the housing projects, those environments come with gang culture. So I could no longer just stay focused on my graffiti art or art in general. And I lost the pressure to gangs. And so I joined the gang. When I joined the gang, then I picked up the tattoo machine and I kept tattooing people. So no matter what aspect of life, I held on to that gift. And then I left the gang in 1994. I decided that this is not the way I want to go. And I saw the hurt that it was bringing and towards my family and just in general, and the community and everything. The, the real turning point for me was when I tried to commit suicide. I ran across the freeway with the hopes that a truck could kill me and take me out of my misery. I was living in guilt and shame of the simple fact that I had caused too much hurt towards my mother, my children, my family, and so And in that moment, there was a spiritual thing that took place, and it was this gust of wind as if it came and it hit me. And I thought it was the impact of the truck. And I saw these sun rays dancing beautifully, and I'm feeling the, I'm getting, I'm receiving the feelings of peace, joy, happiness, serenity, the feelings that can only come from a higher being. And it's only through God, through His grace, that I'm here to do. So when I paint, I paint the Spirit. Now, there is nothing that this world can throw at me besides death impacting my family. But it still won't talk to me. But the importance of art, in it, and I think it's very important because there's still a lot of kids in my community that are experiencing these things. Because if I got out of it doesn't mean that I don't go back and give back. It's important that I create spaces of inclusion because there's a lot of kids who are still being excluded. There's a lot of artists out there who can't find a space or at least haven't been welcomed into a space. So of course we're gonna find ways to express ourselves. I wanna be able to demonstrate not only to the art world, but to the community or the world in general that if given the opportunity, look what can happen. Here's a person who came from the slums from the housing project, who was caught up in drug addiction, who had two fatal acts of suicide behind drug addiction. But yet, he was able to discover his gift, and now look at where his gift has taken him.